I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Uh, uh, uh.